This is Matthew Stockford. He's 29 and lives in London. When I was 17 years old, I was skiing. Um, I'd been skiing quite competitive, competitively for the country. Had a bad crash and ended up breaking my back. Just had a bad fall, landed awkwardly and um, ended up in a wheelchair. This is Valentin Dikul, a circus strongman in Moscow. One day Stockford and Dikul met and this meeting changed Matthew's life. In spite of a disastrous accident, which would have ended the active life of many people, Matthew has achieved a great deal. He's an executive at a large international property services company, and he's also done the near impossible. He went back to the mountains and became a world downhill champion, winning three golds and other awards in the Paralympics and other international competitions. But for Matthew, it's not enough. He wants to walk again. He believes that only one person can help him, the man who bent this 50p coin in his bare hands. When Matthew went to Russia, he headed straight for the Moscow State Circus. <laughs> Valentin Dikul rehearses for three hours every day. He's about to turn 50 and is preparing for the 21st season of performing his number, Pyramid. Riding the bicycles in the air are his wife Ludmilla and his daughter Anna. <laughs> Today, most Russians know what happened to Dikul in his youth. He too had a terrible accident that put him in a wheelchair. But somehow he got back onto his feet and into the circus again. Matthew wants to learn his secret. I couldn't believe how strong Dickel is. I'm pretty strong and can beat most people at arm wrestles and whatever, and I can lift fair weights in my gym, but I could not even pick up the weights he was doing. And he was throwing these weights around as if they were nothing. He was throwing me around at times like I was nothing. Phenomenal. I, I mean, it, I've never seen a guy as strong as that. If someone said, they know a person who can throw a 45 kilogram ball in the air and catch it on the back of his neck. Would you believe them? And also, they know, they know a man who can bend a 50p in, their, in his hands, bare hands, into a U shape. Would you believe them? Don't think so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe with both. I think he must be a bit uh, tougher than you. Here you go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of roll it round here. Shall we be When I first heard about Dikul, I was a very, very skeptical. I thought, yes, a Russian trapeze artist who becomes a strong man and then breaks his back, or having broken his back, starts to walk again and becomes a strong man. I thought, yeah, right, it can only happen in Russia, because it's sure as hell it's not going to happen anywhere else. But, you know, I thought, why not go over and have a look, see what happens, um, have an open mind about it. Hundreds of people from all over the world come to Ostankino Park, next to the Russian television centre in Moscow where there's one of the world's biggest rehabilitation centers.
Matthew is accompanied by his friend Alan, who designed his special skis and helps him with his training. <laughs> the founder of the center sometimes helps to direct circus performances right here when there's no time to go to the circus to do it. That founder is Valentin de Kool. Matthew brought de Kool his x-rays and a pessimistic assessment of his chances of walking again. But de Kool believes that as long as the neck isn't broken, there is hope. This stand I prepared for you specially. On it, there are about 600 exercises prepared for specially for the system. И всю конструкцию, как перестраивать его, как ставить и работать по системе, я вам завтра продемонстрирую. I mean, I am very satisfied, and that's why I'm still doing it. What I've been doing before I started the system, I've been in a wheelchair for six, seven years, six mm -hmm. years probably. Yeah. Um, so it, it's been a question of undoing the damage that had happened during those six years, and hopefully now working on and building on what's happened. On this first day, Matthew has to stretch every part of his body in preparation for the complex exercises to follow. Just the fact that I'd been sat down, your, your muscles tend to get very taut and um, they, they wither away a bit, your joints get very tight um, and you're just not very flexible and supple. When I broke my back, which was in 1984, I went to a specialised spinal injuries unit and their aim was to put you in a wheelchair and make you, you say to you, you're going to be in the wheelchair for the rest of your life. It, it brainwashes you after a while because you look at these doctors and think they know what they're talking about. But they don't know everything and you should appreciate that and that there are, the body can do some incredible things. Tomorrow will be a very difficult day. For tomorrow's day, we need to go through three systems. Three daily cycles, three systems. It will be that you are like a lemon. Саша, на меня смотришь. Beside his pyramid number, Dickel is preparing one more, supporting a car placed on a special mount. Depending on the model of the car he holds, the weight varies from one and a half to two tons. Нет. Dickel was born in Latvia soon after the end of the Second World War. His father was killed in action, his mother died giving birth to him. Little Valia was brought up in an orphanage. Life was difficult and hungry, full of fights for leadership for an extra piece of bread. The travelling circus was his only real joy in life. Valia used to run away to spend the entire day there. He decided very early that he must become a circus performer. He was talented and fanatically determined. He quickly mastered the juggling and acrobatics, but finally decided to become a trapeze artist. He was 15 when he performed his first number. These amateur pictures show Valentin de Kool with his partner over 30 years ago. But there was no safety net, and one day the bar onto which Dickel was holding broke. The metal got tired, as they say in the circus. Dickel fell from almost 40 feet to the ground. He broke over 10 bones, including a fracture in his spinal column, which totally paralyzed his legs. The doctor's diagnosis was bleak, 
Valentin would spend the rest of his life in a wheelchair. In the hospital, he started exercising with a fierce energy. The doctors and the patients all told him not to waste his time and efforts. There was no rehabilitation system available. He realized that he had to do everything for himself. He began experimenting and exercising with weights until exhaustion set in. First in the hospital, when nobody believed he could get any results, then at home, alone. Ты должен смириться и остаться на том уровне, которым ты вот сейчас есть. То есть это психология всех больных, те, которые действительно не работают. Почему? Потому что в то время не было реабилитации у нас в стране. Days, weeks, months, years passed. He kept exercising, five to six hours a day. But he needed money to survive. Leaving hospital still in a wheelchair, he went to the Kaunas Club in Latvia, offering to teach children acrobatics and other circus skills. Обучал детей и показывал им, что мог, конечно. Это естественно, не то, что я не мог ногами, я ничего не мог, то, что мог, даже страховал. After his sessions with the children were finished, he started exercising by himself. He had to overcome pain, terrible fatigue, and the helplessness of a half-paralyzed man who had to crawl around to change the weights. He became so exhausted that he fell asleep on the mats, too tired to crawl back to his wheelchair. The cleaners who saw him lying on the floor of the gym in the morning were frightened that he was dead and ran for the doctors. Every day, he started all over again. Dickel was developing a unique system which would become the blueprint for his future work. But if Matthew Stockford is to walk again, he will have to show the same total commitment. It's the second day of Matthew's treatment. And then uh, leg back. For Dickel, walking again was not enough. He had to get back to the circus. And he did get back. His new number was acrobatic motorcycling. But for him it was too routine. He dreamed of astonishing the circus world with an unheard of weightlifting number. When the doctors who knew of his diagnosis learnt that he was not only walking again, but had returned to the circus, they could not believe it. Other wheelchair victims did, and started to come to him for help, though he's very wary about setting himself as an example. Every patient, every больной, Всегда говорит, что у него травма более сложная. 
И не надо входить в спор с этим пациентом. Но нужно попытаться его убедить, чтобы он поверил бы в себя, в свои силы, в свои возможности. И таким образом он добьется потрясающих результатов. То есть я считаю, что движение – это жизнь любого больного, любого человека. Это жизнь. То есть в организме существует очень много нераскрытых резервов организма и возможностей. Давайте их покажем, как раскрыть, поможем раскрыть этим больным людям. This is Irene German from Germany. Eight months ago she was told she would never leave the wheelchair. Today she is taking her first steps. Dickel has been teaching his system for the last 20 years. Когда приезжал э, Валентин на гастроли, то рядом с толпой, которая выстраивалась в кассы, выстраивалась толпа э, к служебному входу. И все хотели видеть Дикуля. Отказать э, он не мог никому. Он всегда говорил, что вот если я вижу, что я хоть что-то могу сделать для этого человека, как я могу сказать ему нет? И поэтому постепенно... Жизнь наша превратилась вообще, я не знаю, какой-то какой непрерывный такой вот поток общения э, с людьми, больными людьми. Every day he needs two to three hours on his own to exercise, and every evening there's a circus performance. That's why he treated patients in between training sessions and late at night after the performance was over, sometimes in an hotel when on tour, but usually in the circus itself, in his little cramped dressing room. Many patients followed him on tour for months, all over Russia. It's gone on for years. From birth, his daughter Annie has spent her childhood in the circus, and she is determined to have a career of her own there. Now 14, Annie even rehearses in the sitting room at home. There's no escape from the circus. On their last day together, Dickel teaches Matthew to stand up in Valentin's specially designed boots. Часто меня обнимешь, как будто очень сильно любишь. Переводишь корпус на 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 левую ногу, втягиваешь левое бедро. Переводишь корпус на правую ногу, втягиваешь правое. Сделай так. Dickel believes it's possible to make the muscles remember movement and to develop undamaged muscles so they can take over the functions of those that are damaged. The brain has to act in a different way. It's a long, hard road, but Dickel believes he can teach his patients how to walk again, either by themselves or with special equipment, if they have the will. <laughs> You have the confidence in him that he will not do something that will hurt or that you're not capable of doing. So it, there, there's a trust there. There's an immense will to, to help you, or, or you can tell he's wanting to help you, but his charisma is incredible. There's two ways of living. You can either lie in a bed and, and worry about it, or you can um, you can get up and go and do things and, and have a life and enjoy it and um, have a will. So after a couple of years, I started skiing again, um, which was superb just to get back into the mountains. I came over um, to Moscow, and um, it, it was quite... An enlightening experience because back at home when you break your back you're told you'll be in a wheelchair for the rest of your life or if not for the rest of your life until they have some sort of medical cure for it and in the interim you're in a wheelchair you, your body that you're not using the lower half of your body 
is um, it's wasting away almost, you're doing nothing with it. But came over here and all the exercises that you, to, that you do, it just gives an extra dimension, it keeps your body in trim and sure, one day I might be able to walk by using the Dickel system. You've got some superb patients here and the, the centre's going really well. Why at the age of um, whatever you are, you're an old man, why still the circus and all this hard work? Куда бы жизнь не бросила вдруг, к тебе я вернусь, ты родная арена, на твой заколдованный круг. Затем эту энергию я даю людям, больным. Each weight is 75 kilos, around 165 pounds. The ball weighs 40 kilos, around 90 pounds. The climax to Dickel's act is the pyramid, which only he performs. Bending backwards, he carries five people and two large weights on his unsupported body. The total weight of the pyramid is around a thousand kilos, two thousand two hundred pounds. On Matthew's last night in Moscow, they are packing his new equipment. He'll have to work on it for no less than five years with the same determination Dickel has shown if he is to walk properly. And then, and his birthday party, held in the medical center, of course. She dances a farewell to Matthew. Back in London, Matthew is on his own again. Dickel has shown him what to do, but now only Matthew can do it. Will he be able to keep going day after day after day?
it's hard work and there's, um, I was never under any illusion that it was going to be a miracle and that you know, I'd come back and it had all happened one after each other and I'm pretty much working out on my own. It will need a lot of discipline um, and a lot of willpower. Dickel's message is those who believe will work and those who will work will walk. And I think I'll walk. Thank you.